You know, I'm really not sure myself. Um, I mean, the man is, he, he's like a mystery. Um, I mean, half the time he's on the screen, he's having some sort of meltdown of like epic proportions or he's just completely manic, you know? Um, I mean, the guy's, it's, it's hard to put into words, but he's got this gravitational pull to him that just like pulls you in and makes you want to keep watching, you know, even if what's on screen is an absolute train wreck because he's not like the most amazing actor on earth. He's just interesting, very, very interesting and a very curious character. Oh yeah, I actually have like a personal top three. Um, Starting from the bottom, have to be National Treasure, first one, you know, that's, I grew up on that movie, that was definitely my first exposure to Nick, Nicholas Cage. Um, number two is Mandy, a more recent movie, um, love that one, just the setting of it all, and of course, you know, kind of a crazy horror thriller, which I like. Um, and the number one is definitely Color Out of Space because it's that cosmic horror genre that I love so much and uh, yeah. No, God no, of course not. I love everything Nick and Nicolas Cage has made. Um, well, I guess Ghost Rider 2 was a thing, a very, very bad thing. Uh, that's my answer to that. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Um, what's your acting process, man? Like, how do you, how do you get into character? Like, what goes on through your head? Because I mean, your characters are always so wild, and I just love to know what's going on in your head while you're trying to like fit into that character mold. Well, yeah. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, anytime I can talk about Nicolas Cage is a good time, so thank you.